welcome to this web training session where we will be covering how to use the PGV sensor for robot guidance. My name is Zach Steck and I am a field application engineer and product specialist for industrial vision components at Pepperell and Fuchs. Let's get started. Here you will see an overview of all the topics that will be covered in this session. Once this training session has concluded and been uploaded, you can use this to jump to any of the items that you would like to revisit. The first topic that I want to discuss is what is a bot? A bot is a common nickname for an automated guided vehicle or AGV. The term bot may get thrown around a bit within the industry, so it can also be used to describe an autonomous mobile robot or AMR. But for our purposes, we will focus on AGVs as they typically rely on navigation equipment, whereas AMRs perform free or natural navigation. The main purpose of these bots would be to move goods around a facility while increasing the speed and efficiency. These bots are commonly found in the material handling industry, especially in fulfillment and distribution centers. Some interesting facts about bots is that they will generally operate in areas where there is no human presence or interactions, and many bots can be operating simultaneously in the same workspace without interfering with one another. To dig a little bit deeper into what type of applications can benefit from these bots, let's look at several examples. Material delivery is the most common of these applications and can come in a variety of forms. In this image, these bots are lifting and moving racks around a facility to ensure that they are in the most effective positioning for the next step in the process. Many of these applications shown are different forms of material delivery. Piece picking and replenishment is pretty straightforward. This may have a combination of a robotic arm with the bot in order to allow precision control of pick-and-place applications. Sorting is typically accomplished as shown here with a bot featuring a tilt tray and chutes. Case and batch picking is larger scale delivery, generally larger bots moving heavy loads. Pallet handling can be combined with case and batch picking, but this is geared towards the retrieval and placement of pallets prior to loading materials. And now more than ever, cleaning and disinfecting bots are a critical tool in everyday building maintenance to ensure the health and safety of the facility staff. Now let's introduce the PGV sensor. The PGV is a camera-based positioning system designed for the purpose of AGV navigation. One very unique feature of the PGV is that it has the ability to evaluate multiple targets simultaneously. The compatible targets would include colored lines, which can be blue, green, red, or yellow, data matrix positioning code tape, and data matrix tags, which are a set of code squares positioned in a 4x4, 2x2, or 1x1 grid. The PGV will provide positional feedback that is critical to ensure the AGV continues on its preset path. This includes Y-axis positioning, which is the movement of the vertical axis from the center of the target, whether that's color lanes or data matrix code tape, Angular feedback, which is 0 to 360 degree positioning on data matrix targets, or about 90 degrees from negative 45 to plus 45 degrees on color lines. And also x-axis positioning, which is the high resolution absolute positioning for data matrix targets only. Now let us discuss the PGV's place in the bot market. While the PGV is available in all of the common protocol options, including Ethernet IP and Profinet, CAN Open and RS-485 are the most widely used in the AGV world. This is due to the types of controllers that the PGV will be interfacing with and the update speeds found within these protocols, much faster than Ethernet IP and Profinet. The 4x4 data matrix tags are very commonly used in these bot navigation applications. Each tag triggers a command that allows the bot to move through the facility without colliding with one another. We will go into more detail on data matrix tags in the next slide, but it is also important to note that a combination of targets, including colored lanes or positional tape, can be used in conjunction with these tags where the PGV can smoothly transition from one target to the next. The PGV can also be utilized in robots that rely heavily on natural navigation for specific purposes, such as fine positioning to align itself under a target or docking into a charging station. To talk more about the data matrix tags, data matrix tags are unique because along with the standard positional feedback of X, Y, and angle, you will also receive an identification number. If you look at the image of the tag to the right, you can see in the top right corner that this tag is number 10. A tag number would be used to initiate a command to control these bots. For example, if the PGV installed on the bot encounters a tag number 10, 
This could tell the bot to rotate 90 degrees and drive forward, which will guide it to the next tag and next command. When we start to combine data matrix tags into tag navigation, these tags are arranged in a grid type pattern throughout the flooring of the facility. The tag numbers and the set of controller commands will allow the bot to navigate to required destinations. This allows for a lot of flexibility in regards to the bot path. As I play the example animation, pay close attention to the path that this bot takes as it moves from tag number 1 to tag number 9. There are other routes it could take to get from 1 to 9, but this is the path which was set. Tag 1 tells the bot to move forward to hit tag 4. Tag 4 commands it to rotate to position 270 and drive straight. Tag 5 drives straight and tag 6 will rotate back to 0 degrees and move forward to reach our destination of tag 9. Let me play it one more time now that I've described the logic behind it. This is how tag-based navigation is accomplished. Over the years, Pepperl and Fuchs has developed many products specific to the bot market, so let's discuss some of these items starting with the PGV100R. The PGV100R is a reduced cost version of the PGV. It is available in RS-485 and can open, which we discussed as the most common operating protocols. This PGV utilizes red illumination LEDs, whereas our standard versions alternate blue and white LEDs to allow for the most accurate color recognition. The red LED models cannot operate with colored lanes and only data matrix positional tape or tags. One other significant difference is the addition of a potted cable instead of the quick disconnect connection types. These are best suited in installations that are using a large number of these bots where they do not require all the features of the standard PGV read head and a lower price point is beneficial. Another product that was developed from the request of the bot market is the slimmer housing profile of the F213. With the standard PGV featuring a housing thickness of 50 millimeters, there's a definite advantage to the 35 millimeter thick F213. As with the PGV100R from the previous slide, this F213 PGV is available in RS-485 and can open. It also features the red illumination LEDs and cabled connection type. The smaller profile PGV is best suited for applications with smaller bots and limited mounting space to install the sensor. In any AGV application that requires the navigational targets to be mounted on the floor, there is always the issue of protecting the tape. Whether it is colored lines, positional code tape, or tags, this is a big problem in industrial environments. While there are many solutions and options available to help with this problem, these new metal code bars are the ideal choice for the harshest of installation environments. Here we can see the code bars, which are a solution to replace positional code tape. These printed aluminum code bars are available in a variety of lengths for maximum flexibility that make them suitable for any installation conditions, including straight or curved paths. There are also additional profile rail options to be paired with the code bars in a drive-over design featuring tapered edges or versions which can be countersunk into the cement floors. The code bars will install down the middle of the profile rails and sit flush as shown in the image to the upper right. Metal tags are also available in the 4x4 or 2x2 configuration. These metal tags have a self-adhesive backing for easy installation. One important note about the metal tags or metal code bars is that they cannot be used with infrared illumination PGV devices. Only the white blue LEDs of the standard model or red LEDs of the PGV 100R. I wanted to take a moment to briefly cover the additional accessories that Pepperon Fuchs can offer for your PGV sensor. Starting at the top left, while the PGV has threaded mounting holes for a direct mount, we can also offer a right angled mounting bracket to assure an easy install process. There are also a few alignment tools available, most critically to ensure the proper distance from the reader head to the evaluation target, whether that is colored lines or data matrix code squares. Pepperl and Fuchs can offer a wide variety of power and network communication cables in multiple styles, lengths, and colors. Moving to the bottom row, converter cables to a USB connection can be utilized with our free to use Vision Configurator software as a troubleshooting or parameterization tool. Prior to the development of metal code bars and tags, protective covers were the solution. These matte covers with an adhesive backing can be stuck down over top of the target tape to extend the life of the tape in a tough industrial environment. 
And of course, there are miscellaneous accessories such as grounding clips, which attach to the PGV housing and provide additional protection from noise interference. All PGV devices will come with the one grounding clip in the box, so these are available as spare parts. Finally, I would like to review some of the benefits of PGV that have not been discussed in the previous slides, but are key to the stellar performance of this device. The PGV features an extremely large reading window, which will allow for maximum mechanical tolerances to ensure simple mounting and installation of the reader. Very high accuracy on the positional feedback with data matrix targets supporting down to 0.2 millimeters on the X and Y axis and a 0.1 degree resolution for angular feedback. The response time is also a highlight of this device and we can offer speed versions with an image cycle rate down to 10 milliseconds. The large reading window in combination with the dimensions of the data matrix code squares allows the PGB to be unaffected by dirt, scuffing, or scratches on the positional taper tags. It also has excellent resistance to ambient light interference. This is what makes the PGV the ideal choice for robotic guidance applications. I want to thank you for your attention to this web training session and hope that it has been informative. Once the session has concluded, if you have any additional questions or would like to learn more about how the PGV can assist you in your robotic navigation applications, please feel free to reach out to me directly using the information on the screen or our Pepperone Fuchs tech support team. We are happy to help.